This week it is uh, our last meeting. Uh, I will send you with um, this film another one, an explanation of the final test. As you already know, uh, only those of you who uh, did not ask to, uh, questions during the semester for different reasons uh, have to pass this exam. Uh, those who ask one or two or three only also probably will prefer to uh, pass this uh, final uh, test. But those of you who have uh, asked uh, four, five or more questions, uh, I guess, will uh, uh, decide not to write the final test because you will get, uh, if four questions, uh, you will get four. If five and more, you will get um, five. Uh, what is also important for those who still uh, not uh, are not sure if they want to write the final test on 4th February or uh, ask more questions, for, for example, today, they can do it, they can do it because uh, our final uh, meeting uh, this 28th of February uh, of uh, January uh, will be focused on another uh, representative uh, of the history of philosophy and uh, of course uh, I will uh, leave you time for questions. We will start uh, uh, 15 minutes uh, earlier so not as usual during this semester 10.30 but 10, 15, uh, in order that you can fulfill uh, evaluation forms, which is quite easy, but you know, to, to have uh, the time to do it, uh, I uh, decided as uh, our staff of directors suggested us to encourage you, first of all, to do it, and I will do it also uh, during our Zoom meeting at 10.15 uh, and you can do it very easily. Uh, you have your USOS access for students or La Studentów, where is the section Ankiety or surveys and there you will find uh, exactly a survey for our uh, course, uh, the history of uh, philosophy in America. And there uh, you can do it uh, quite uh, uh, easily. But you know, in order to, to be sure that everybody will take uh, time, uh, I reserve 15 minutes. Uh, after 15 minutes, uh, we will start our usual uh, session, uh, questions and answers and I hope that I will be able to answer, if not all, the most uh, pertinent to the final uh, meeting uh, questions. Uh, this uh, uh, introductory remarks will be the first film and the next uh, one, also more or less uh, of 15 minutes, will be the very slow um, explanation of uh, the final test. Uh, I will read uh, all 10 questions and of course I will not answer <laughs> everything because it will be uh, useless. Uh, you have to think uh, about, you have to consider, to take your time, etc, etc. But it is uh, relatively easy, it's not uh, very complicated and uh, you will see it. So let us uh, pass to our final hero, uh, whom I uh, usually uh, reserve for the last meeting because he's uh, my favorite American philosopher uh, on the one hand, but also um, uh, I would like to show you uh, that uh, American philosophy, you already realize it, 
uh, during the semester is not um, something isolated, uh, separated from uh, the global influences, uh, but in this case, uh, this uh, influence came directly from Warsaw. So it's, a, I think, an interesting coincidence that we are speaking about the history of philosophy in United States in Warsaw, and we have someone who is the perfect uh, link or connection between um, exactly uh, Warsaw and America who this gentleman is, Abraham Joshua Heschel. Abraham Joshua Heschel, a Polish Jew, born in Warsaw, as I said, in 1907. And uh, he is uh, considered as one of the most influential uh, Jewish thinker of 20th century. Uh, his uh, most important works he wrote in English, a language which uh, he uh, learned already as a mature person in the United States, where he uh, came uh, during the Second World War and uh, started to teach uh, first in Cincinnati in 40, 41, and uh, after a few years, he moved to, to New York, where he spent the rest of his life teaching, traveling, being active, uh, not only in philosophical uh, in field, but also theological, social science, social activism, interreligious dialogue, really a fascinated, uh, fascinating uh, person. Uh, most important books by, written by him are already available in many different languages, uh, included also Polish, so you can find his works also in, in Polish. On the platform, I uh, send you one of his most uh, influential um, essay, No Religion is an Island, and I'm sure that you reading this uh, essay uh, you will be encouraged uh, to, to read more uh, and to discover uh, his um, word of uh, extremely uh, fascinating ideas, philosophical, theological, Jewish, uh, but also open to other uh, religions. Uh, so few uh, data from his life. Uh, as a child, he was uh, studying or learning in Jewish uh, uh, educational system here in Warsaw. And uh, in order to get uh, his uh, matura, high school degree, he went to Vilna because in Warsaw in the time it was not so easy for Jew to study at uh, secular state schools. Uh, so he moved to Vilna, where he was also active as a writer, as a poet. In fact, he wrote in Yiddish, uh, very interesting poetry, which is also available in English, Polish, etc. And uh, when he finished his education, uh, got matura, he wanted to study uh, philosophy at the state university. And in the time, uh, the most important place uh, to study philosophy was Berlin. So he moved to Berlin, where he wrote his uh, PhD in German. Uh, and it was about the essence of uh, the prophecy. So he was very much interested how in, uh, the biblical message is transmitted through uh, charismatic uh, people. So he was very much interested to describe this uh, phenomenon of Holy Scripture, how it was written down and, you know, describe this as a, a philosophical phenomenon. And, uh, 
after when it was not so easy it was already 30s when hitler came to power so he couldn't uh, publish his PhD, but in order to get it, uh, he had to publish, so he publishes in, in Krakow and through his Polish friends in uh, 35, and he got it, uh, the title uh, Doctor of Philosophy. Uh, in a few years, uh, he was uh, teaching in Frankfurt, where he succeeded uh, Martin Buber, uh, who in the time migrated to Palestine, uh, and in 38, uh, he was expelled from Germany to Poland as a Polish Jew. And uh, here in Warsaw, for one year, he was teaching at uh, Jewish institution philosophy. And uh, really in the last moment before the war, in August 1939, he was able to uh, to move to, uh, to um, uh, he was able to move to England and after to the United States, uh, where he was, uh, you know, a teacher uh, all his uh, life. Well, this is important because uh, during the war, here in Warsaw, as you know, 300 Jews. Uh, uh, were living and almost all were uh, murdered uh, during the war in the Holocaust and almost entire family of um, Heschel uh, was murdered here in Warsaw or in Treblinka. Uh, I mention it because uh, this fact was uh, not so present in his philosophy. His philosophy is extremely optimistic. He wrote about the search of God in the human uh, mind or in, in, in the history. Uh, he discovered also a, a certain uh, idea that actually is not so much that God is searching, that the man is searching God, but actually God is searching man. And about this, uh, the essence of Jewish philosophy he wrote extensively, but the most important uh, book by Heschel is uh, The Prophets. Uh, the Prophets is uh, development of his uh, dissertation, of his PhD uh, work, uh, which he elaborated, changed a little bit, uh, expanded. It was published in the 60s and till now uh, is considered as his uh, most important achievement. So he was focused on, on uh, Jewish tradition as a prophetic uh, tradition. And I think this is the reason why he was so also interesting for uh, Christian, for Christian philosophers. And indeed, he's considered as the, one of the most influential Jewish thinker who uh, shaped the Jewish-Christian dialogue, in, not only in America, but in, uh, also in Israel, in Poland, and so on. Uh, and I would like also to mention his um, uh, journal to his uh, academic uh, work activities. First, he was very close connected with Martin Luther King. So for you as an American ex students and uh, experts in the American field, uh, please remember that uh, the fight for human rights, uh, for uh, rights to vote, which is the main topic of Martin Luther King activities, uh, many religious uh, leaders, uh, not only from Christian uh, religion, but also from Jewish, joined him and in fact is the iconic picture of Martin Luther King marching together with Heschel uh, in March 1965, uh, so-called Selma Montgomery March, and there was uh, Heschel. And another iconic uh, uh, picture is uh, Heschel with the Pope, uh, Pope VI, and it is uh, at the end of the Vatican uh, second Council, uh, which uh, changed uh, radically uh, 
the attitude of Christian toward Jews, and Heschel contributed also to this declaration Nostra Etate. So I hope you you will read uh, No Religion is an Island, and you will have a lot of questions uh, for me during our last uh, questions and answers session.